Hi guys, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a review on Looking for Alibrandi by Melina Maqueda. Looking for Alibrandi is a young adult novel set in Australia or specifically in Sydney and it is written by an Australian author, Melina Maqueda. She's a very well-known author within the Australian community. She's well known for writing Looking for Alibrandi, Brandy, but also On the Jellica Road, Saving Francesca, and Finnegan of the Rock, which are all YA novels as well. The novel centres around jo Josephine Alibrandi, Brandy, who is a illegitimate 17-year-old girl who is going through her last year of high school and she's figuring out, I guess, where she wants to be in a year or two's time she suddenly meets a person who is really important in her life but she's never met the person before and she's also figuring out emotions regarding her friends her family as well as boys so it is a mix of a lot of things that's happening to her in her final year of high school and we're sort of taking on this journey with her as well as she tries to figure out what's the best options for her in life I found Looking for Alibrandi to be a really relatable novel. The Josephine is European, she's Italian I'm pretty sure, but because this is set during the 90s, um, Australia was sort of on that edge of accepting immigrations from other different countries. They sort of weren't very well educated around different cultures, so she was just really lost with who she was, whether she was Australian or whether she was you know, European and it was just all these cultural conflicts that was involved and I can really understand that. I sort of really regret, well not regret, but I sort of was like I would have enjoyed this so much when I was in high school and I read this because it was such a relatable aspect to me. Even now, being of, um, I guess, a generation that is the first generation to be in Australia, so I am a Vietnamese um, how, how would I classify this? I am Australian born Vietnamese, the first generation to be born within Australia. My parents were all born in Vietnam um, and I cannot really understand the way she explains cultural differences and how it's really hard to sort of assimilate to Australian culture and what Australians consider Australian while she st still has ideals from her own um, ethnicity from from her own heritage that she has to abide to and that's very much the same as I um I guess the situation that I'm in so that was really relatable and because of that I really enjoyed reading the novel I found that I could relate to Josephine could really empathize with her or sympathize with her and it was just a really nice feeling to have a character understand how I feel and for me to sort of feel how she felt as well because it made the experience of reading the book so much more real like so much more realistic and just so much more emotion involved in the novel it is set in the 90s so a lot of it is sort of out um, out of date now but the main aspects of it is still very relatable to this moment still very applicable to certain situations especially when you're going through high school like i would say if you're still within that high school age it's really good to check out this book because you find a lot of aspects of it very, very, I guess, relatable. I'm going to use this word so many times. Um, but things like, you know, studying in school, having friends, and sometimes you might consider your friends to not be your friends because there are aspects of them that are just annoying and you're only friends with them because you go to school together or there is one or two things that you might have in common. Again, with boys, um, I love that we get to explore that aspect of I guess love and relationships between a girl and a boy and the pressures of being in a relationship at such a young age and also figuring out space between you guys as well as the fact that you guys might not want the same things in the future but that doesn't mean that you won't stop loving each other and just things like that. Like I really like the way that she wrote the relationship aspect of this novel um, and that it wasn't just purely focused on insta love and stuff, it was really building that friendship first, getting to know each other and then sort of that maturity at the end um, of the novel which I really liked as well. It's very concise and very simplistic in delivering its message but I really liked that because you don't... My dad comes in and tries to ruin this entire thing. I really liked Josephine as a character, I really liked Jacob as a character but I think my favourite character was Michael and you will meet him in this novel um, and the way that he grapples with just learning about the people around him and having to sort of figure out who Josephine is and I just find that he was such a great character and a great role model in the novel. I gave Looking for Alibrandi a 4 out of 5 stars because I thought it was a really good novel to read 
if you have younger siblings, I would say get them to read it because I think they would really enjoy it. And I don't know why it took me forever to read it. <laughs> if you've read Looking for Ella Brandy, let me know what you thought about it. And if you liked it as much as I did, down in the comments below. Otherwise, I think that's all for today. I hope you guys have a great day and I shall see you guys soon. Bye!